Welcome to Trans World Radio on Air, Netherlands Antilles, 800 AM. Trans World Radio began uh, with a ministry to Spain from Monte Carlo. And the second station that Trans Radio opened uh, 10 years after the original station was uh, began to broadcast was Bonaire. Um, here from the island of Bonaire, uh, we broadcast uh, into the Amazon region and up into Cuba and Haiti and the Dominican Republic with a 100,000-watt medium-wave AM transmitter. Uh, we broadcast in languages such as Portuguese, Spanish, English, Creole, uh, Baniwa, and Makushi, which are two Indian languages for the Amazon region. Being uh, distant from the um, people that we minister to is very difficult. Uh, it isn't very often that we get a chance to meet with the people that we uh, are ministering for and to. I am a 70-year-old widow and have been listening to your programs for the past 20 years. I've been richly blessed. I've written to Through the Bible and now I write to you. I listen each night. Please pray for me because I have a heart and an eye condition. We recognize from um, our listener letters uh, that really does give us encouragement that people are listening and are encouraged by the broadcast. And uh, some of the mail that we get are from prisoners and obviously there's not a lot of ministry that can happen in some of the prisons that are around this region. And so if people are being uh, fed and, and, and drawn to Christ uh, through the broadcast, then that's an encouragement to us. Probably the, the country that we have the biggest heart for is Cuba. And um, communications with Cuba is extremely difficult. And we know the Christian radio is very, very limited in Cuba. And for 40 years, uh, Cuba has been a target for Transradio Bonaire. And it continues to be that way. And we know that there are people listening there. Uh, and that are hearing the Spanish broadcasts, and um, we just have to trust God that he's using those broadcasts. Many of the local stations in, in, in the countries that uh, we broadcast to have Christian radio stations, but m many of them can be influenced by local politics. And because we are a remote site and we broadcast in many different countries, we are basically apolitical. We, we do not get involved in any way in any kind of political situations in any country. That's part of our standard. And so many of the Christians in these countries look to Transradio as the standard of good, solid Christian biblical teaching. Venezuela, and particularly the Caracas area, can hear us all day long. And what I would like to do is to broadcast all day. Um, we recognize that we can't get into the city of Caracas during the day because there's so much competition and, and noise, uh, radio noise within that city that in the daylight hours, we probably can't be heard. And so that's why our, our broadcast or our, our broadcast day is most effective in the evening. So we begin to broadcast at five o'clock in the evening and go until midnight. And we come back on at three in the morning and broadcast until eight. But after that, we, we've been shutting our station off. But my goal is to continue those broadcasts because I know that although we can't, we're not as far reaching during the day as we could be, there is still a tremendous population in Venezuela that can hear us all day long. Some of the prayer requests we have would be for staffing. We're always looking for engineers and people who are willing to commit to some time and, and be here uh, to, to do production work. I'm sure finances are always an issue uh, in ministry, uh, but if we could have um, more sponsored programs, uh, that would be a wonderful uh, answer to prayer. You've been listening to the Ministry of Trans World Radio, broadcasting from the Caribbean island of Bonaire in the Netherlands, Antilles.